in the H1 with my day ones. Now's the time to say something. If you wanna say something, I'm gonna make it. Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new GTA 5 glitch video. Just before we get into today's video, if you would like to buy GTA 5 modded accounts, modded cars, or even money added into your existing GTA 5 account, or even want a, a wide range of Call of Duty Cold War services, go join the Discord down below in the description. They offer level 1000, max ranks, prestige, uh, max weapon levels, Dark Aether, DM Ultra and lots more. So go check that out. And if you would like a shout out in the next video, don't forget to comment hashtag notification crew and you will get a shout out in the next video. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Peace. Yo guys, what's up Adam HD here? Welcome back to a brand new solar duplication glitch, which is currently working after the recent patch of 1.56. First thing you want to do is have a vigilante, a CEO office, a te and a terabyte. So, first thing you want to do is go down to bay 2, and make sure you have weapon and vehicle wor workshop, guys. Okay, so change it to weapon and vehicle workshop, and click renovate this will cost 573,000 but don't worry you will be making your profits back if you do have a fully maxed out issy just like me i did not use my issy in this video but i'm not really bothered anyway you're going to enter the uh, moc with your vigilante and make sure you have someone random to join in a different targeting mode yes guys this does mean it's solo because you don't know the person and no one else is involved so join the random person in a different different targeting mode so click accept the first alert and decline the second alert okay and now all you're going to do is exit the mobile operations center and join them again right after accept the first alert decline the second alert and as soon as you come out of that tap right on the d-pad okay so now all you're going to do is exit the bunker and head to los santo customs in town Alright guys, the reason we're going to do this is because this is where you can glitch your MOC out. So, all you're going to do is when you get here, you're going to drive into the tunnel. But for, before you do that, you're going to shoot the light in the tunnel so you can get all the way into the tunnel so you can glitch out properly. So, drive it all the way into the tunnel just like I'm doing right now. And go as far as you can and then get out. And now all you're going to do when you get out is you're going to go and request a vehicle that you would like to duplicate. In this video I did use a Deluxo, but um, but usually I would use an Issy, but I don't know why I use a Deluxo. But just before we do that guys, go back down to MOC and click Bay 2 and make it an empty bay guys. And then go to Bay 3 and change it back to personal vehicle storage. You will be making your profit back, so don't worry, guys. Don't worry about it, honestly. Okay, so, once you've done this, guys, all you're going to do is request a vehicle you want to duplicate. As I did say a minute ago, I am using a Deluxo, but I suggest using an Arena War vehicle. That sells for a lot of money. Okay, so now, you're going to park the Deluxo outside, just a bit behind the MOC like I'm doing right now. Now head back into your MOC and get into it guys. All right, when you're in your MOC, click right on the D-pad to detach the trailer and when it starts uh, spazzing out, just like this, move it forward a little bit and run quickly back to your Deluxo guys. Okay, when you get in your Deluxo, spam right on the D-pad and A at the exact same time. So you go into the MOC. If you did hit it correctly, guys, you will see your Deluxo spawn back out again. If you haven't done this correctly, you will have to restart your game as you will be in an infinite black loading screen. Just give it a few minutes and you should spawn back outside in the same car you went in with. If you've done that, you have done this glitch correctly and you have now managed to duplicate it. Now, I have now spawned outside. Now head to a CEO office. All right, I believe this does need to be done with a CEO office because you will need to change the number plate when you get into the CEO office. Anyway, guys, if this video does help in any way, shape, or form, make sure to leave a fat like and subscribe. Don't forget to join the Discord, guys. We do host modded account giveaways and much more on there, so go check that out. So, when you do get into the uh, CEO office, it will just load a minute, so don't worry about that. Just give it a minute, guys. 
and you will spawn in as usual okay so when you get in you get kicked out of the vehicle get back in it click right on the d-pad you will need the custom workshop i did forget to mention this and then when you get into the custom workshop all that you're going to do is you're going to change one thing on the vehicle i did choose to use the change a plate because it is the easiest thing to change on this vehicle anyway guys if this video helped in any way shape or form be sure to drop a sub drop a like and if you want to shout shout out in the next video comment hashtag notification crew it's adam hd guys and i'm out i'll see you all in the next video Peace.